Okay, so I found this um, I found this interesting um, blog post on the internet by uh, Matthew Hemsteger, uh, where he he um, he uh, writes about the passage in a book by uh, Søren Kirkegård mm. uh, called uh, "Concluding Unscientific Postscript." <laughs> okay. Yeah, it has a it has a kind of a German title, you know, very long. Yeah, but it has funny t- funny titles. Uh, uh, yeah, so so um, I can read from uh, that uh, <coughs> paragraph from the book. Uh, this is uh, what Kierkegaard says. I sat and smoked my cigar until I lapsed into thought. You are going on, I said to myself, to become an old man, without being anything and without really undertaking to do anything. Wherever you look about you, you see the many benefactors of the age who know how to benefit mankind by making life easier and easier. Some by railways, others by omnibuses and steamboats, others by the telegraph, others by easily apprehended compendiums, and short recitals of everything worth knowing. And finally, the true benefactors of the age who make spiritual existence in virtue of thought easier and easier, yet more and more significant. And what are you doing? Suddenly this thought flashed through my mind. You must do something, but inasmuch as with your limited capacities, it will be impossible to make anything easier than it has become. You must undertake to make something harder. This notion pleased me immensely. I conceived it as my task to create difficulties everywhere. <laughs> and uh, I think, uh, well, if he thought that they had made life easy back then, you know, he should have come to, to our time. Yeah. Because this is more our task than ever. And I I, I, I I totally agree with Hikigo. That thought pleases immensely mm. to make life more difficult. Is, is, is it also to confront a, a very strong bureaucratic system that's made life more difficult? So how we should go also into that, like making more bureaucracy to make <laughs> individuals' life more difficult. <laughs> Yeah, but that was uh, when I first when I first told you about this. You said, "But life is difficult enough already." <laughs> it's already very difficult. So yeah. why to do it? Well, I mean, I I I, I, have always, I always have this this thing. But I guess we we now we can go more in in, in depth and in clear about in which areas we might mm. have to make our life more difficult than just apply to all spheres of human. Yeah, and life. then and then I think you can. Put it quite simply that that you do uh, that you do by virtue. Can you say it like mm. that? Mm. That you do by virtue. What you, you do should, by what, uh, yeah, yeah. What you do by virtue, you should make more difficult. Mm. You should make more challenging. And I, I I thought about it. You know, it's in in uh, in the movies, the hero is someone who um, overcomes extreme difficulties. Yeah. And and we consider him a hero because he's able to do so and in a noble manner. To overcome yeah. the greatest difficulties. Yeah, mm-hmm. well, I think also uh, of uh, McKee's book story that is putting a character under pressure to yeah. see what what type of character it is. What is this this person? Who is it? Yeah, yeah. and he and he, you see that through you know difficulties. Conf- conflict is the the main the main thing, and yeah. there will he will face obstacles and great mm. obstacles before he yeah. reaches or not his his goal yeah so. and i think it's it's question well uh, finding out in which areas do you make life more difficult because like the absurd version is how tom sawyer uh, acts in in huckleberry finn when they're going to free this slave and they do all kinds of difficult things because it should take a lot of time to free him but they could have just dug, dug him out but it takes weeks before they get him out you know so, so it becomes absurd mm. but but it seems also uh, uh, I was just thinking about it. it. It might be a very masculine way of thinking, too, to to make your life make, more difficult. Make it more difficult. Make the task more difficult. I don't know. Yeah, that you have uh, that you, that you make the things that you do more challenging. Mm. And that b- makes it more interesting. Yeah, I mean, it's just like that with my uh, uh, with my uh, girlfriend Yiki, who who works with Leathercroft. Mm. She loves to 
she loves to uh, 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 to uh, make make it more and more difficult for herself, like more right. and more challenging tasks. Yeah. Th- she thinks it's more funny the more challenging, the more difficult mm. it is, the more yeah. advanced yeah. like uh, uh, ornaments and so on. Right. Yeah, it is. Yeah, and as a painter, also, or you, if you are engaged in storytelling, you want to make the story complex, and that making it more complex and more clear will make it more difficult to 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 make it. So you are constantly pushing yourself into a more complex story, more difficult uh, technical ways of how to solve that composition, how to make the characters more uh, um, more real in a way. So you, you, as, a, as a painter, as a storyteller, you are all the time pushing those boundaries of how, how, how mm. complex the story and, can and be. And how do you do that? And how you by by p- painting from photo? Oh no! Well, yeah, I was <laughs> just thinking about is, the memorous dogmas. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That, yeah, but that, that's that's like a clear example. You know, mm-hmm. so many painters they paint from photo because it's easier mm. than painting from life. Mm. And 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 but you that you cannot you cannot trick the devil. I like mm. I like the Christian image of the devil because it's a good uh, it's a good image of what this is about. That you shouldn't let the devil tempt you to find the easy solutions to everything. Mm. Well, that's what happens with uh, with um, uh, Doctor Faustus. Yeah, 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 yeah. He, you know, just sign a deal. You get fifteen years. That is. It. Yep. It will go very well, and you mm. will achieve whatever you want. But yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, this also ties back to to our conversation on on uh, uh, nerd students who betray their talent. I mentioned one specific student and I'm not, I'm not exactly sure about the years but I think actually he had has had more or less 15 years of this you know fame of recognition and now uh, collectors are talking about that oh well he's on his way down you know and yet, mm. it's so sad that you you well you know you sell your integrity to make it easier for you and then you know your your career is just screwed, or your talent is screwed. And yeah, nothing, yeah. nothing that is rewarding comes easy. You know, it's it's a saying, I guess. Mm. Uh, but it's so true. And and and, and when you look at uh, the hero in the movie, for example, to go back to that, uh, we know, or or he knows that he has to overcome difficulties to be heroic. He cannot. Yeah. You cannot get there. You cannot become a hero without going through a lot of difficulties. Yes, and that, that, that's uh, something again that Mickey talks about in story. You know, you have this term Deus Ex Machina. Yeah. God of the machine or, or yeah. yeah. And it, it, it literally comes from the Greek plays because of course there were a lot of mediocre things and they would have this, how does it describe it? Some kind of a um, uh, uh, mechanical thing where the God would then be lowered down and then suddenly solve the whole situation. Uh huh. And you know, that's such such a, a, a disappointment <laughs> yeah, it because is. it doesn't come from the from the person uh, person himself or herself. Mm-hmm. But de- de- deo, deus, deus ex, ex machina. machina. That's yeah. that's God. a godly intervention. Yeah, 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 the God's yeah, intervention yeah, yeah. on the play. Yeah. So then, yeah. Yeah, okay, everything yeah. is solved here because yeah. of the gods have intervened. And, you know, so you don't have to. And, that's, <laughs> and and, and peop- the audience really hates it when that happens. Mm. Yeah, when, when, when there's uh, some kind of godly I mean, intervention it's just, it's, yeah. uh, and the hero who, just who hits said that, everything on the silver plate. Yeah, who said that that's something that you can use maybe once on a play? Uh, it, it's McKee. Yeah. It, it talks about it has to increase. But I mean, you, you, you cannot uh, you know, do the same thing again uh, but, uh, and expect that to be an increase, right? Yeah, yeah. People just get, get bored of it. But it's... it's um, yeah, sorry. But then, then, for example, to the... To get access to some materials as a painter, mm. and uh, should also uh, be better if it could be more difficult to get to finest materials. So the materials are not spread democratically along the whole globe that everyone can be a painter. So you don't get you don't engage with such responsibility on a task that really is difficult, and it's really difficult to get those materials. Uh, uh, that, 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 that's when you're becoming really specific. Yeah. I was thinking about one thing, and I I, I uh, remember talking to someone about that quite a few years ago. That, and I, this this is inspired by something I learned from my father. That we have to know more than they do the, the art establishment. Yep. Uh, and so I thought, well, 
our advantage is that we have to know what they know and what we stand for. Mm -hmm. So a lot of people, you know, speaking again of our conversations on nerd and portraying the talent, view that as you know very difficult and very sort of you know uh, stressful that they have to defend their views all the time. Mm -hmm. But it's an immense uh, uh, advantage. Yeah, they, and yeah. some people ask, you know, you can't, to, can't you make a, 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 a like a. a a short explanation of what kitchen art is so that I can show it to other people. Mm. And I understand, I understand that people need that kind of uh, uh, confirmation and easy way to yeah, show yeah, other people yeah. what they stand for, but they should also study it on their own. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And and that's that's the core of the, the matter, you know. Uh, uh, to make your life more difficult essentially means that you you have to you have to study things on, on your own. Yeah, you have to you have to uh, you have you have to take uh, nothing for granted like uh, the, the words that we use or the values that that we have that you have to you have to uh, study everything mm. like uh, like uh, yeah like with the words that you you uh, okay where where does that word come from what does mm -hmm. it mean what does it actually mean you don't just accept it that you use it in everyday language like yep. for example the word create when you say i create something well, but hold on. God is the only one who can create. Like if you really think about it. Mm -hmm. Because you just you just stir around with the, the mud yeah. that he mm -hmm. made for you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, I, I don't know if I, I've mentioned this, but there's the, the something I really learned from that uh, um, series Downton Abbey, mm -hmm. where this socialist comes in, this woman. And she is just full of contempt and, and uh, yeah, you know, knows where she's going. But, and these people that take care of the house, they, of course, do that uh, in an admirable way. But they're not philosophically conscious about why they are doing it. Mm -hmm. And again, it's our advantage is that we have to know why we're doing what we're yeah. doing. And that is more, more work. <laughs> yeah, 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 absolutely. <laughs> it's, it's a lot more work. I mean, yeah. I mean to find... To find uh, to find a meaning of, of in in the craft that you're practicing and why you are developing a craft in the way we are doing it, why you have to go through all this struggle about developing um, a better way of, of rendering uh, the proportions and the likeness and studying the palette and practicing every day. I mean, there must has to be something, mm. a meaning for for that. And then you see, okay, what's the meaning of it? Well. I think about like if a whole culture also the Western culture is being totally attacked, attacked and, and, and trying to be put down, then then you have a great meaning there. I mean, if you are someone who is taking care of a craft that is almost forgotten mm -hmm. and wants to be erased, and then you are engaged into mythology and stories that could uh, continue a knowledge that comes from your grandfathers and from a culture that you admire and so on, then you have a, a, a clear meaning about what, why to paint. Yeah. And it's a true to, to communicate those stories that you build your life upon from. Yeah. So then, of course, then you are already making your life very difficult because well, you, you, <laughs> you could, are you putting yourself on, on yourself. I mean, the, 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 a, big, a big task on your shoulders to, to bring and to keep alive a culture that is being constantly attacked. And you could say that in, in some ways, uh, it wouldn't be exactly true, but in some ways uh, you are more fortunate than Raphael, for example, mm -hmm. because, because you don't have to take the world around you for granted. You have to you know, yes. you know, you have understand your situation and why it's like this. And yeah, yeah. What? And you have to understand the whole the whole scenario that it's making everything just shaking and and yeah. so yeah. yeah. And that's what I was thinking about. You know, you have hmm. the, the situation that the Rembrandt was in uh, when he had read Pliny and you know identified with the palace, the rough manner of painting, reducing the palette, and in that time, that slick French style became fashion. So I saw mm -hmm. Guard Flink was called a Pellis Flink because he was sort of the, the hero. And he oh, he the, was. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, and it's so funny because, of course, in Norwegian, Flink means to be skilled, good at something. And he wasn't that good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, that's a idiosyncratic idea. But uh, anyway, um, 
in that situation, Rembrandt goes the other way or doesn't go along with that fashion. But of course, you can say in that situation, there's still opportunism. It's not going from painting figuratively to becoming a, a, some abstract or a video artist or whatever, mm -hmm. but it's still the same kind of psychology at play that you had, you had, you are, you are just what is going on. And yeah. that's a fundamental point that you mentioned that, that in that time you could just sort of rest on being a part of, of, uh, of, uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, Raf still Raf figurative work. Raphael yeah. didn't have to study philosophy mm -hmm. and he could, uh, he could have a nice time with the women and when he woke up in the morning after having a nice time with the woman, the world was still the Renaissance. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah. But, yeah. The, and, 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 but then you have to ask yourself, okay, so, so, so uh, to, to, to study things empirically, that's, that's, uh, that's important. Uh, to, um, to, uh, that's how you make your life more difficult. But then you, then you have to ask, okay, well, what's, the, what's the end goal of all of this? And I think, uh, of course, you, you, make, you, make, uh, you make better things, but you also become a better person mm. when you make your life more difficult. Thank you for checking out this clip from the Cave of Apelles. If you want to watch the entire segment, head over to caveofapelles.com slash donate and become a $5 patron. That will allow you to access all our Dark Flame episodes, bonus material with our featured guests, and more.